Yeah, squadron. So I'm back on this NPC live, and I just want to address uh, this update again. And I want to address this new troll because I, I apparently I like create trolls every day I do something. Any video that I post or anything that I say and do, I got to have trolls. All right, let me explain this a little bit better. This machine has a lot of potential. And when you install stuff in firmwares and updates and stuff, you're using up resources that the machine could have and use in other manners. All right, so... Back to what I was saying about redundancies. There's a sampler thing here and then there's the looper. They're virtually the same thing. It's just that you're kind of like timing the thing in. Now, I don't want, like, dude, I don't understand why you're coming at my throat about my opinion on the box. There's a lot of other people out here that got their opinions on this stuff. There's a lot of other people out here whose stuff is messed up, more messed up than mine, that's buggy. And their stuff is broken or doesn't work anymore. I'm not really complaining about nothing. The only thing that the only complaint I actually even had was that they should stop making it so buggy. But my opinion is they don't need to add three different synthesizers when they could put a wavetable synthesizer in there that can give you all three of those qualities. A bass type of synth and you can make orchestral sounds with wavetables. That's what I'm saying. Like you're talking to somebody who's very seasoned in sound and technology and stuff like that. Now you're probably like, oh well, why aren't you making your own machine and blah 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 blah. Well I'm not, dude. That's that's not what I that's not what I come to do, but I mean I have sensible and sound mind opinion. And I'm gonna opinionate myself and the things that I, I feel like I should and address them when I do. And you're not gonna stop it. You know what I'm saying, dude? So, you know, you want to sit there and say I sound like an old woman and I'm complaining and complimenting. No, nah, man, I'm giving them their props when credit is due. Something that you should probably learn how to do and stop trolling me. You don't even know me. And before you even talk to me like that, you should know who you're talking to. I'm Lou, motherfucker, the master of sound. You don't know who you're talking to. I know more sound. I'll teach you a lesson, dude, in sound and music. So shut the fuck up. But back to this box, you know... The visual representation and the feedback for the um, the effects section, I think it's really great and it, it helps people's workflow out because, you know, they can actually see, you know, what they're interacting with and what the knobs are actually doing when they turn them. And, and you can hear, you know, the feedback from the compressor when it's clamping down on stuff and everything else in between. So I think that's a really good feature. I just don't think that they should waste resources on three different synthesizers when they could put a wavetable synthesizer in there that you could drag drop waveforms in and patch them together or whatever the fuck you want to do and use grain table or grain synthesis and get a wide variety of sounds from anywhere between your synthesizer basses all the way to your orchestral instruments. That would be more applicable in a box like this because this box is like a DAW. It's more than just a sampler. It's like a DAW composer box. Like you can compose orchestra music on here. You can compose like crazy stuff. Like this isn't just a beatbox. This is a composer's box. It's like a DAW computer workstation all in one in the shape of a, in a, in a tiny ass unit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm not listening to you, trolls. I'm just clarifying my point. And I'm making I'm making a sensible point here. Like, it would be better and smarter to use a wavetable synth because the resources that you use to run all three of these weird type of synthesizers, you could use and make a really great wavetable application and put it in here and have FM, RM, a little bit of mod matrix going on, a couple LFOs, a couple envelopes. You know what I'm saying? A couple filters you could put in serial or in parallel, you know, and like maybe three or four oscillators. And if it's going to be a wavetable synth, this is already a sampler you could get granular on in this because granular is based on sample activity and playing different start points of a sample. So I'm not really listening to no trolls. I'm not really listening to anybody who wants to come at my throat about things I say and stuff. This is my opinion and I also have knowledge on the topic. So like I said, shut the fuck up. I'll catch you on the flip, subscribers. Trolls, fuck you, man. Do your job. Head on the low and support on the cool.